Hello everybody, Blessed Chick here. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you this uh, garlic, it's a stainless steel garlic slicer crusher with this bonus peeler. Um, anyone in my family can tell you that I have an unnatural obsession with garlic. One thing's for sure, I don't have worms and no vampires will ever bother me because I eat so much garlic, it's not even funny. Um, basically, I if it calls for like one or two bulbs, I'm sorry, one or two cloves of garlic, in my mind, that equals like bulbs. So if it's like two cloves, a whole bulb, bulb goes in there. So let's try out this together. And this is supposed to simply unwrap the garlic. which it does a pretty fine job. I mean, clearly it's making a little bit of a mess. Um, another method I like to use is the, um, see, I'm just, I'm doing this for the video. Normally I wouldn't just scoot it off on the counter like this. Normally I actually put it in a jar, like an old jar for, um, for spaghetti sauce. And I put the garlic in there and shake it up. And, but you know, that takes a lot of effort. This was a lot less effort to roll and it clearly did a good job. Um, this is surprising in my household that I have some older garlic, but, uh, I didn't want to waste my fresh stuff since I don't actually have a plan on making anything right now. And this is purely for demonstration purposes. So this little gadget, it works great. I was skeptical, but now I'm not because it works good. Now, does it make a mess? Yes, it makes a mess. So I, I don't really necessarily like that part, but come on. When you're peeling garlic and messing with garlic, it gets messy no matter what. Except in the jar method, but the jar method, you're literally just shaking it up and down for a really long time. So, now I've got my little pile of garlic, and here is my stainless steel crusher and slicer. Let's just try on one, see how it works. I'm just going to put it right over there, and I'm going to press down. And I guess I'm going to kind of smush it around. Let's try all of them. You can see here what it's done. It really has kind of crunched it up pretty well. Let's do more. Okay, a little bit of it gets caught in the grate, but that's not a big deal. This is certainly easier than uh, chopping it all up. And you can see it comes out in really fine pieces. Now, I guess if I'm having to say, hmm, it does get a lot stuck in the grater, but it's not that difficult to get it out. Um, but look at this. This is a lot finer. Actually, okay, and here's here's a little chunk that's left, but I can either use it or not. I Half the time, I throw my garlic into something, like if it's a pot of spaghetti or something, I'll throw whole garlic cloves in there. I don't care. Like, you know, as it cooks down, it gets more mushy. But when you're doing like a saute or something, this is beautiful. This is way more chopped up, way more finely crushed than, um, than chopping it. And a lot of times with garlic, I don't know, every cook says a different thing, but usually I'll take the knife and hit it because when you kind of crunch it out, it releases more of the amazing smell and taste of the garlic and this is for sure doing exactly that and cutting it at the same time so you're kind of chopping out a lot of steps so i love this do i like that it gets caught in there no but what can you do about that i mean i'm just going to clean it it's going to be fine i might have lost a little bit and there's a little couple pieces but like i said this is older gar garlic maybe a fresher piece wouldn't have done that as much but all of this is good i mean all of this is going to go to waste i feel really bad for wasting it but i'm not making anything right now and um, although i do like raw gar garlic occasionally i'm not having it right no i'm not having it right now um, anyways, thank you so very much for watching. I hope this gives you an idea of how this thing works. I give this five stars. Uh, I wasn't sure what to expect when I first got it, and I love it. I will be using this all the time. This is a clearly going to be an essential tool in my kitchen. With the way that I use garlic, this is going to come in handy. 
So yeah, five stars. If you have any questions or comments, just leave one below. I'll be happy to try to help you. And I uh, hope this helps you to make an informed decision on your next purchase. Have a great day.